Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the day we finally do our final predictions for the Dallas Cowboys in 2022. How do I think the team's going to look? How do I fare that things will play out at the end of everything? And ultimately, is this enough for the Cowboys to not be in the current situation they're in going into 2023 that we're kind of all predicting? You know, Mike McCarthy being gone, certain players being gone, all that kind of stuff we'll try to answer in today's video. Now, before we begin, if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, that'd be great. Um, leave a comment on how you feel the team's going to do, please, by all means, down below. Now, first, the expectations. As of this current moment, the Dallas Cowboys, in terms of Vegas odds, are tied with the Philadelphia Eagles to win the NFC East. I'm going to be honest with you, I could give less of a shit about how Vegas perceives things. Why is that? Because it's all about what the pads do, right? Like, Dallas Cowboy fan 1980 says, let the pads do the talking, and I will let that happen. You know, I could give a damn less about being a Vegas favorite to win the division. I'm looking for more impressive things. So, there is that. Now, to the screen to your guys' left, you will have a tracker on where we are at in terms of the records for the Cowboys as we go through the season. Now, I need to once again stress this this is my prediction this is how i feel sometimes these seasons go and i think that what a lot of people tend to forget is that there's a thing called momentum and other things that can seep your momentum so we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and some scenarios once again that i think could happen for the cowboys so we're going to first start off with the opening game against Tampa Bay. I do think this is going to be a tough matchup for the Cowboys, and I think that the first two opponents are fantastic to gauge where we're at as a team early on. I think Dallas loses against Tampa Bay early. Regardless of how you feel about their offensive line, they still have plenty of enough weapons for Tom Brady to work with to get the job done. And Dallas tends to not do well in the first game for some reason. I can't explain it, but... We'll see if they win this go around. Um, I believe the last time they've won an opening game was back in 2019. Do they do it this go around? I don't think so. Next, moving to the Cincinnati at home. Listen, I do not believe Dallas starts out 0-2. The main reasoning for that is the Cowboys have not started out 0-2 since 2010, from what I remember. With that being said, I still think that holds true here. If Dallas starts out 0-2, am I freaking out? Not really, but if I'm the Cowboys, you can't afford to lose ground early on. So, I have them winning this game. The Bengals, I think, I mean, Super Bowl hangovers tend to impact teams earlier in the season than later. So, I think that that's what's going to happen to the Cowboys. They'll get lucky there. Now, for the next two games, division rivals. You get the Giants on Monday Night Football, and then following that, you have Washington at home. The Giants game is in New Jersey as well, just to specify that. I do believe that Dallas win both these games. I think they will be at 3-1 and one at the quarter mark way of their season. And the reason why I believe that is because, number one, New York has not done a sufficient enough amount to... Um, put a content, not a contending team, but a, um, a sufficient team to rival Dallas. And the same thing could be said for Washington, albeit Washington is a much better position. Both these teams have injuries to their young defensive players in Thibodeau and Young. And I just, I just don't see it right now. But I think if I, if you had to say, well, space, which team has a more likelihood of beating the Cowboys in this go around, I would say Washington. Next. The Cowboys will play the Rams, and with that, I think the Cowboys lose here and move to 3-2. and two. The Rams are the best team in the NFC as of this current point in time, and until proven otherwise, they will be the best, and I think they get the best of the Cowboys here. Moving forward, you have the Eagles in Philadelphia on Sunday Night Football. This is going to be a huge game for the Cowboys because I do believe that they will split in my current prediction. But 
if I'm being real with you guys, I could see the Cowboys sweeping again. I could see the Eagles sweeping. I could see it in both ways. I know it sounds cliche to say, but I think that Philadelphia wins this first game. I think Philly's going to put a lot of energy to trying to beat Dallas at this point in the season, which if I'm being real with you, yes, you want to beat your division rival, but I'd rather do it later in the year when the games actually sincerely count. I'm not saying these games don't count, and I'm not trying to devalue that, but I'm just saying. Moving forward, I have the Detroit Lions and Cowboys game in a weird situation. Dallas and Detroit play tough all the time, and Detroit always loves to come to play Dallas. I think that the Cowboys and Detroit game comes down to the wire, and I think that Detroit wins. Um, Dan Campbell is a great coach. I think that he fits the city of Detroit perfectly in the sense of what he's trying to build there. But I don't want people to get it twisted and say that, hey, why are you, are you this pessimistic? No, the Cowboys have this what the fuck loss that happens every single year. We had that with Denver last year. Um, I don't want to say anything really like that happened in 2020. Um, 2019, the Jets were the what the fuck loss. You can argue you had a couple what the fuck losses in that season, but that's besides the point. Um, but there's that. Next, um, you go into playing Chicago at home. I think you, you know, you're at that four and four start to the year, which is great. Um, and I think that if you are 500 or better, you're in good shape if you're Dallas. So. The next part is Dallas has a what the hell, how did you win this game type of game every single year. We saw that with the Vikings game last year. We saw that with Atlanta the year before that. Um, I'm trying to think if we had any of those in 2019. Um, I don't think so. 2018, we had a couple of those. I think that was your Saints game. I think this happens in Green Bay. Call me shocked. Call me crazy. I don't care. I think Dallas beats Green Bay this year. I think that's going to be the hoorah win of the year. Next, they play the Minnesota Vikings. And right now, the Cowboys have the Vikings number. I do not see the Vikings beating the Cowboys unless proven otherwise. You could say the same thing about the Packers. And I can use the exact same sentiment. But I do believe that the Vikings lose to the Cowboys. And with that, the Cowboys start to start. Uh, they start to stack wins here. Next, I think that the Dallas Cowboys will beat the Giants. They'll sweep them on the Thursday night game, or rather on Thanksgiving, more particularly. And then they play Indianapolis at home. Indianapolis is a weird team. They have another quarterback in Matt Ryan. They got a fantastic roster that's relatively balanced, but. Is it going to really be impactful? Like, it's really, if you're the the Colts, you're like, okay, can Matt Ryan be anything better than Carson Wentz? And we don't need to rely on Jonathan Taylor. I think the Cowboys lose this game. I think this is one of their close games that you lose at the tail end, kind of like your um, Cardinals game. So I think the Cowboys lose this game. After the Colts game, I then have the Dallas Cowboys winning their next two games against Houston and Jacksonville. I kind of put them in the same lump together and that they're rebuilding teams that still are trying to add more stuff there. This puts them at a critical matchup versus Philadelphia in Dallas. I think this is for the division title. I think both teams will be like 9-5 and five or some record of that akin at this point in the season. I think that Dallas wins this game. And begins part, um, you know, carving a clear path for them to the playoffs. Um, similar to how 2018 went after that, like a big moral victory. There was like a weird loss. I think that happens here in Week 17 against the Titans. And I think the Cowboys. <clears throat> excuse me. I think that the Cowboys finish the year. Their record's going to depend on how the rest of the division shakes up. If the Cowboys don't need to win Week 18, I don't think they're going to play their guys. Or I don't think they'll try and they'll lose. If they do, I think they would win this game. Um, but I think this is going to be the throwaway game for Sam Howell. And with that, I'm going to say that if the Eagles' schedule is how I think it's going to be, 
and knowing how they've played, I personally think that if you're the Cowboys, you have to win the game versus the Washington football team, or now the Commanders, however the hell you want to call them. I think they win that game and they finish the year 11-6. and six. That's not bad. Now, with that being said, where are, t- where are games that they can lose? I think you can definitely lose the Green Bay game. I think another game you can u- lose, excuse me, is the Bengals game. Another game that you can possibly lose is a Washington game. I'm going to just say the last game of the season. Dallas really has the ability to be like 8 and 9. I think that is their floor. But I do think if we're being realistic, hey, what's the best case scenario for Dallas? I think the best case scenario for them, if I'm being real with you, if things bounce the right way, they can be a 12-win team. They can. But I don't think they have enough to push it to that point. So, with that being said, I have the Cowboys officially going 11-6 and six with a window of 8 wins at the lowest point and 12 wins being the highest point. If I was a betting man, I would bet... If you said, okay, over or under 11 games, I'm taking the under. If it's 10, I'm taking, I'm taking the over. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking the Cowboys are a 10 win team, which isn't bad, but does this win you in the playoffs? I couldn't tell you to be real with you because we're not that at that point, but I'm going to tell you that bye week, um, you know, refresher is going to be huge because of the run you can go on. And if Dallas really wants to really put the pedal to the metal and stack wins, that's the time to do it. So there's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is my official pre, um, predictions for the 2022 season for our Dallas Cowboys. I hope they get um, a lot farther and better than what I'm thinking. But right now, this is a possible playoff team that could be one and done, depending on their matchup. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later.